I let that Seraphine in the middle of these fights, even more so, I want to know what Team Liquid oh. locks in. It's an old impact class. Mm -hmm. And so FlyQuest started thinking about uh, the lane swap and trying to get ahead of it. And so Whippo walked all the way down to the other side and it ended up using his teleport. Oh, but now Spicy. he's trying to put the pressure on impact. The impact passive. turns it right back around. Meanwhile, down in bottom lane, FlyQuest going to look for some shots of their own. As oh. Yon flashes, but he's still stuck in the room. Oh, the side's down to the other side of the high note, but Inspired still buries him. Amasi's job. The Seraphine, thankfully, can be fairly uninteractive with waves. Just don't sit, step up now. Okay, APA getting stunned up, gunned down. Quad needs a little bit more damage on Ibamatsu in the bottom lane at the same time. Team Liquid with a cannon barrage helping him out. Get Core yeah, JJ. In the trade, maybe Bupo kind of mistimed that cooldown, but does get punished for it. Uses the flash for really nothing. Ooh. Root Caller there on Busio. Another Shattering Strike to follow it up, but there's no real damage here behind these Team Liquid CC applicators. Now we got the extra little bit. APA grabbing a kill on Busio. Inspired. Forced to use the Again, another AP jungle. Uh, clear matchup for him. Yes, it's not a tank for Umpty, but it's a very supportive jungle for Umpty. Oh, that, oh, was that was dicey. Scary, man. Busio might just finish it off. APA burns down the cow from all the way out in right field. Yeah, that was just a great roam there from Busio. Has been impactful, has been playing well in this Proving final. Busio has been a really, really big part of that. And Impact's chasing down Whippo. He, Impact actually dropped minions to go for this damage on Whippo. He's setting it up because he has up to here. Yeah, Whippo's forced to use Dominus to try to escape the cannon barrage. Nice sidestep back there against the root caller. Impact's got another arrow placed down. Trial by fire. And the last damage. So the pirate just walks it off. Yeah, Impact stays cool, does not waste his flash. And he's able to take out the minion wave as well, put a stop to that play immediately. Meanwhile, bottom side. Once more, the target is Whippo, and they have plenty of damage here on the TL side. The empowered Cole the Meek will do nothing. Umpty's the one who gets the kill for TL as Impact holds on defending the tier one top oh. side. Busio again might be looking for something. Masu doesn't have a lot of mana to work with, but they might just look to gun down the turret instead. Busio, nice little bit of a combo there. Impact still standing, but the turret is not. Cannon Barrage to keep himself protected. Busio's got to be way of the barrel. It creates enough distance for Impact to walk it off. Down in the bottom lane at the same time. Inspired has found APA. And the arrow from Yawn is not going to save the mid laner. But APA made enough distance on his Every own. Every single with time you drop them. Can't do that when there's Nivern on your squad. All right, but the Seraphine with a very nice lead here. Oh, hold on. It's a lot of damage on APA from FlyQuest as Team Liquid wanted to try to push up towards the river with 30 seconds Plus left. getting the Rift Herald. Again, all of these early objectives into the hands of FlyQuest now. All right, another engage coming out there from FlyQuest. Core JJ goes over the wall, but Quad is just looking at a 300 gold payday. Busio and Masu looking to get him even more. The high notes come through. Last little bit of damage hasn't connected here just yet, but Masu's getting that one. FlyQuest might be even in kills, but they're up over three. Thousand gold. They just gained 2,000 gold in the last like two minutes here for FlyQuest and another tower about to drop as well. And that's with Gangplank printing money on the other side of the map here. And this has really been a strong start. It's looking star tough for Team Liquid. Inspired now could be under a bit of pressure from APA and Core JJ. A teleport from FlyQuest trying to help out the jungler as Whippo slices and dices, looking for the damage on APA. Flashing forward to guarantee the kill. Now Impact, the victim of a flash engage from Busio. Core is still trying to walk it off, but Rel is slow, and FlyQuest is not playing around. A couple of more rockets into Core JJ should take him down, and a beautiful combo from Busio makes it a two for one deal. Beautiful trap from FlyQuest. It's the trap here, and they actually actually pulled APA and Core JJ into it and get multiple kills. Fiend Plus is an AP carry, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Emphasis on the word carry here. And oh. she's building like it too, but hold on. Let's see if Whippo and Quad are about to get another one as Impact is caught out here in a 1v2 and Quad has already killed him off. Now Umpty's in danger. The Ivern is isolated. There's nobody left to support. Yon's just the cherry on top. And FlyQuest are eating good. It's turned into a massacre. E roots and your empowered E stuns. So it gets very, very annoying to deal with here.
FlyQuest have opened up a massive gold lead here. And you said it, Kobe. They're running away with it. Core JJ wants to help APA get this kill on Gwipo. They're even going to commit the Magnet Storm for it as Gwipo tries to get away back over the wall. APA has the damage to shut him down, but it is a drop in the bucket right now for they're Team Lick. Right now, I was getting a little bit worried for that one, but uh, FlyQuest have combined the young players with the veteran players here for a lot of success. Let's see if Busio gets the angle he's looking for again. Core JJ, the initial target, trying to use Crash Down to get away as Team Liquid locks up Quad long enough to create some distance, but Busio is just waiting on cooldowns here for another combo. Finds it again on Core JJ. The Rel is down. Daisy is also out of the picture. Baron? We're 20 minutes into the game. Baron is on the Rift. APA is pushing down in the bottom lane. He does have Unleashed TP if he needs it, but FlyQuest have Baron in their sights. And this is the largest lead at 20 any team has had against Team Liquid this entire year. They are getting blown out of this game by FlyQuest. Team Liquid knows they have to go for some kind of approach. The Brush is trying to create a little bit of confusion here. FlyQuest knows they're in control. Now they're going to turn right back on the Impact. The Gangplank, the big damage dealer. Yawn gets caught up by the Seraphine ulti as the Cannon Barrage is forced not on top of the Baron. So FlyQuest go right back into the pit. Umpty wants to steal, but Blippo cuts him down. Busio locking up the rest yet again. Impact will not escape. This game belongs to FlyQuest. Tiago. 15 kills and a 7,000 gold lead. Just 21 minutes. So many minutes. tools that FlyQuest have to punish face checks. And Umpty, he knows. He's got to pull out some miracles Umpty here. FlyQuest to full stop the damage. And Ivern is one of the worst at actually securing Baron. It's not like you have some no big combo. damage combo to go with uh, this fight. Gentlemen, you want to talk about combos. Let's talk about Core and APA with an Ash Arrow from downtown, thanks to Yawn. Let's talk about how it's not even enough as Bwipo flashes away. APA still chases. Team Liquid is throwing the kitchen sink at this guy. But the problem is there's an issue back in the jungle as Impact is cut down and Bwipo survives. It may have been rough early for Bwipo, but he still survives in this play while Impact gets caught in the jungle. And Bwipo recovered so well, Azale, you said it He's earlier. There. Impact in the lead, of course. Um, but Bwipo looking to try to even that out before the day is done. Whippo's jumping in after Impact down here. Again, the Dominus used Impact, throwing the Cannon Barrage back, looking for the solo kill! Maybe Bwipo shouldn't have been talking so soon. Impact takes a Fang, that does massive damage to the Sterex. That makes it so much less effective. Seraphine's Seraph's Embrace is going to be telling the same story alongside all of her shields that she's normally casting. I love this pickup as Yon is not loving this mid lane situation. Masu's on a rampage. Likewise, that puts them at soul point. Mountain Soul. I feel like it's so difficult to come back when teams are way ahead. I feel like this has to be the impact and APA show if Team Liquid wants to have any chance of coming back into this one. Umpty just got caught. There's no way out. Beautiful three-man knockup from Busio. Yawn's your next target, and Whippo's joined the fight. He slices, he dices, he forces a flashback at Yawn, but APA's in the back line of FlyQuest. He's found one, but he needs a whole lot more. Whippo can't get anybody back here just yet. He's trying to finally kill APA, and Monster's gonna grab the other Unstoppable there. Core JJ dies to Inspired. Team Liquid are simply too far behind. It was a good effort, but 9,000 gold is such a mountain to climb. Impact and Yawn will run as far away as their legs can take them. Inspired, forcing the flash back out of Impact, who wants to try to use his TP to stay alive. He's not going to do it. Quippo, the ruthless predator in the top lane. Game. Diabolical. As they are put forward. We've got minions crashing into the tier three turret in mid lane as Team Liquid scrambles to defensive positions. Whippo, Busio, and Masu. It only takes three to force down this objective. Inspired is right behind them while the bottom lane is under pressure from Quad. First inhibitor gone. Busio for the engage. Beautiful follow up from FlyQuest and they've already killed two. Daisy summoned up, immediately killed. APA and Impact trying to fire back as FlyQuest has some low health bars. The flashback. The jump away from APA. 
Yawn and Impact still trying to stand and clear, but it's a full five-man push with a Seraphine from FlyQuest. It's so hard to survive it. Impact can't do it. APA's forced back again. Whiplo jumps in. Ladies and gentlemen, with a stomp in game three, FlyQuest are on match point. These were the best highlights from today's LCS matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.